what's up fellas it's marty red here with ssl i just want to uh talk to you real quick um i want to i want to come up with a series of videos here explaining how to start and build your scheme from scratch on madden um so these are the philosophies i'm going to use on this page here so basically you just want to start out with a base core pass play and you want to start out with a base core run play um, and then you want to add in complementary passes and complementary runs that look the same out of the same sets or out of similar personnel groupings. So what that means is like, say, say for instance, um, I'm in spread, pistol spread. Um, there's many plays that translate to shotgun spread, single back spread, etc. So you just kind of want to, you just kind of want to stay in those personnel groupings at the beginning levels when you're just trying to you know create a plan uh you want to you want to find those personnel groupings um first i would honestly say if you're like getting ready for a tournament getting ready for uh, a connected franchise you want to know what team you're going to be so for me i'm um picking the falcons here and as you can see the falcons um we already know they're set up to run mostly West Coast offense, but that doesn't mean necessarily that you have to run that. Um, you can look at their personnel, you can uh, rearrange their personnel, and you can you can put guys in position to run whatever you want them to run. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with showing you guys how to build a spread offense, and a spread offense is gonna incorporate a lot of four wide receiver sets, some three wide with one tight end, um, one running back. So uh, let, let's start off with going to the playbook here. And I just want to show you guys what I've been working on. Um, let's see, spread base. And you guys can start this. I would recommend starting it from an empty book because uh, you can go to the uh, shared files and download it from the community. It's just an empty blog. It starts with nothing in it um, But I, I went ahead and put together a short little spread uh, Book here to show you guys just just what I'm talking about when I'm saying like things should uh, translate from one formation to another uh, You should have a lot of the same plays, but they should they should vary just a little bit and you can actually use one audible uh, or one hot route uh, to vary those plays as well if need be because what you're trying to do is you're trying to set the defense up and make them think that you're running you know your base your base play but you add a wrinkle in there and it kind of gets them to jump a route and then you hit the hit the um either the hot route or the route that is uh, designed on the similar play so as you can see here i have spread flanker close shotgun spread Shotgun trips, shotgun trips, halfback wheat, uh, single back eagles trips, and single back spread. Those are just the formations I wanted to start with. Um, basically, this is, I think, from the run and shoot um, book. And I just got rid of a few formations that uh, just didn't make sense. So, uh, let's, first off, you want to go to my audibles and you want to see the personnel grouping. So, you got one running back, four wide receivers, one running back, four wide receivers, and all of these. So what that means is, is while you're in game, while you're in game, you can just switch to any of these formations you want. So let's just say that my base play is going to be the run and shoot uh, switch dig. So with the run and shoot switch dig, you want to make sure that um, you have complementary plays. So in this set uh, that I'm in now, I'm in pistol spread. So in this set, you have starting out with the switch dig. You can then go down to the um, switch smash. That's a good complementary play, uh, I would say, because it, it shows you that it has the same exact route concepts on the left side, but on the right side, it gives you a smash look. And uh, the, the switch dig and the switch smash, they're going to be two different coverages. Uh, another complementary play in this set would be the switch curl. Uh, with the switch curl, run and shoot switch curl here you have the uh, switch concept on the right side this time and you have the two uh, the curl and the out on the left side 
So uh, you can switch this uh, because the good thing about spread spread looks uh, is that you can switch the formation and no one will know. Just you know, square R2 on PS4, and what it does is just swaps the routes from one side to another. No one moves, nothing changes. So uh, this helps you disguise what you're running, um, especially out of out of sets that are even and look the same. Um, so after after looking at this pistol spread, uh, we're going to go to shotgun um, spread, and we're going to see what correlates from from here. All right, let's see if we can find our concepts here. All right, so we got the switch curl here, switch curl post. So this is the same exact concept that's from pistol, pistol spread, but you're in shotgun now. So um, your guys are going to line up the same. Everything's going to look the same. Um, you're just going to be a little bit further back in shotgun. Um, they got the switch dig in here, which is our base play, which is... Uh, going to be hopefully in all of our sets that we have. We're going to have at least some sort of switch dig concept. Uh, that's what we're going for. Um, then you have the switch curl flat, and you have a, a switch smash, which was also another. So uh, from here, after you figure out what your base uh, pass play is going to be, and a couple of com complementary pass plays, next what you're going to do is you're going to try to start implementing some runs into it. So uh, a good spread run, uh, which is the staple of the spread, is the inside zone. So you want this inside zone um, to be your base run play, I would say. You want to, you know, keep hitting that inside zone over and over, and you can either bounce it, bend it, uh, turn it up inside, whatever, uh, whatever the read is. So um, see what other um, run plays we have in here. We have a halfback counter which is uh, going to have a pulling uh, guard. So it gives you an extra hat over there. If they're like playing one side heavier than the other, you would uh, auto blue that. Um, this halfback slip screen is interesting as well. The reason this uh, halfback screen is so interesting is because it has the same exact uh, switch dig concept that's our base play. So everything uh, to the defense is going to look exactly the same. Uh, from the start, um, the only thing difference is you're going to have your lineman, you know, run out doing the screen. Uh, but all the, all the concepts behind the screen are basically your base play. So what this gives you uh, the chance to do is it, it gives you the chance to bait the defense a little bit. Um, you get them, you get them going on your base play and all the other switches um, that you're using throughout your playbook, and uh, then you start, you know, once they start uh, maybe blitzing you since you're in spread, just hit them with a screen, keep them on it. So the next thing, uh, complimentary thing I want to talk about is the halfback draw. So um, same works the same as a screen. Um, you want to use it in certain situations, maybe third and long, third, um, you know, for on first down, something to kind of throw the defense off uh, after you've been hitting them with the um, the digs and the uh, curls and everything else that's going to be a part of your scheme. Um, and if we go back to our uh, philosophy here, it actually tells you to um, that you want to come up with stuff that kind kind of um puts puts those limitations and constraints on the defense so uh what they labeled here you know halfback halfback draw which we have in our scheme so far we'll get to wide receiver screens here in a minute um those those are actually going to be a key part of um keeping the defense honest from a spread look so the next formation i want to uh, cover would be single back spread um, single back spread is a little bit more tough just because you don't have as much time to make reads and get the ball out just because you're under center. You got to take your drop back and, uh, you know, guys are coming at you. Uh, but, but there are stuff that translates from shotgun to under center. Uh, one of the, one of the key plays here, as you see, is a uh, switch smash. So switch mesh um, has the same exact switch uh, concept on the left side. It's got the switch dig concept on the left side, and it has a corner uh, flat concept on on the right. Uh, that's those two are are pretty dominant um, against uh, most looks you're gonna get. Uh, there's gonna be at least something open. 
uh, and that's that's the that's the goal is trying to find what's open and um, making sure that you know you're prepared for whatever the defense throws at you and another thing we'll go over later is how to set your audibles up um, that's audibles are key um, because you're not just gonna pick a play come out and run it um, you gotta you gotta read the defense. Uh, you gotta learn how to read the defense. That's basic parts of football. Uh, you gotta be able to t uh, see when a team is in cover three. Uh, you know, single high coverage. Um, you gotta see when a team's in cover two, etc. Uh, there's things you can do to kind of make the defense show their hand, put guys in motion, um, do do whatever you need to do to kind of like, all right, well this looks like man coverage. Uh, there are ways the defense and one of my defense video defensive video um, scheme will go over like how to how to bluff and um, the best ways to bluff uh, simulation style without making a thousand hot routes on defense and just making the defense look very arcadish and um, you know unrealistic. So uh, the next play that I want to go over from the single back spread is uh, going to be flanker dig. Uh, flanker dig is has your same uh, wheel post concept from you know, pistol spread, shotgun spread on the left side. But on the right side, you got uh, digs. And um, this is a great complementary play to your base. Um, you got the running back route running out to the flats. Uh, this 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 play is going to come in handy. <clears throat> and the good thing about it, like I said earlier, you can get to this play if you set your audibles up right uh, from any formation. Because currently all our formations are full wide receiver sets. Um, okay guys, so the last thing I want to talk to you about um, when it comes to the passing game is play action. So what you want to try to find in any any scheme that you're creating, you want to try to find play actions that um, also use the same motion as your run plays that you're you're implementing. So for this play action deep out of pistol spread here, you can see that um, pretty positive that that is a play action draw. So uh, the complementary run to this would be the halfback draw out of the same form. So uh, most plays on Madden actually have a course, uh, most play actions mostly have a um, corresponding run play to them. So the last thing I want to go over is the running game out of um, this spread uh, scheme here. So the running game, uh, your base run is going to be uh, inside zone uh, from all the sets and then your complementary run is going to be a counter. Um, there are also in a couple other of the other formations, there are outside zones. Uh, which will, you know, help you get to the outside. You can switch to them. There's a there's a couple of uh, powers, and uh, you can implement a little bit of the power run game into your spread look. Well, I appreciate you guys um, tuning in. Uh, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button, and uh, just um, let me know what you think about the video. It's my first one ever, so don't be too harsh. <laughs> If you have a scheme or um, something you want me to uh, go over, um, need help with, uh, I can implement that into the next video as well. Uh, just, just let me know, guys. Uh, again, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Um, Marty Red out.